don't have any snacks. Really? Aren't you being beaky? So everybody, welcome back to my channel and I hope everybody had a safe and happy New Year celebration last night. So after a few days of this kind of weather and freezing temperatures, I finally got back in the air again. And after an evening of snow blowing, I think this took me two and a half hours, uh, we created this beautiful little runway on Reflection Lake just outside of town. The snow was about 8 inches deep and it was pretty fluffy so the snow blower you can only do about a half width at a time. But yeah, we made it a little bit longer than last year and a little wee bit wider than last year. And at this moment I was just kind of thinking, you know what, it's time to go grab my gear. It was pretty cold outside, minus 17 still at this point so I was waiting for it to warm up a little bit. So off to the shop I go and grab my paramotor. And of course... I have an outboard GoPro camera that's sticking out the side that I can't reach that I forgot to hit the start button on it. So one of the many people, as you can see in the background, that were there uh, that were really enjoying my runway for a skating rink, and I'm happy to let them use it. But I, anyway, I had this skater fella pop over and start my GoPro for me, and then he was like, can I please take your picture before you take off? I was, of course you can. And he was happy with that, so no pressure with about 25 or 30 people watching me here. Uh, nose to the grindstone, boys. Let's get this thing up. The wing came up a little bit crooked, but I straightened it out, and we're off to the races. So, going to be a short flight. Uh, it was still probably 15 below Celsius, so it was pretty cold out. Uh, yeah, so we're just going to go for a little tear today. Go up and check out launch on Mount 7. Okay, so here we go. Let's get up to Mount Seven, a famous uh, flying site in Golden, BC. And it really is quite famous. It has one of the longest rift valleys in the world. So lots of world record flights, or at least record flights off of here anyway. Some world records have been broken. Um, the launch is about 6,300 and some feet or so. Now I checked Windy earlier in the day and right around 6,500 to 7,000 feet, we were looking at pretty strong winds like probably in the 20 knot range 20 to 27 knots I think is what I was looking at so I knew I could fly to launch and probably be not in that shear layer so as you'll see coming up I do fly up above launch and I wind up just bouncing off the bottom of that shear layer at about 500 feet above launch or so and if you guys watch coming up in the uh, clip that's forward facing here um, you'll get a chance and you'll see as I'm coming up I'm about 500 over launch and the shear layer or the wind is coming I mean out of the west and I hit that shear layer just momentarily and I knew it was coming um, it was just a matter of I wanted to go as high as I could bump it and then stay down below it so that I wouldn't be uh, in that shear layer with all that turbulent air so I'm not gonna go much higher because they were forecasting about 25 knots a little higher than this, so this will work just fine. Chance for peak straight ahead. Yeah, see, got back in that rotor. Oh yeah, see, that's what I thought. I'm just in that shear layer there, and I was starting to get bounced. Gliding the landing field is 
that little one right there with a little bunch of trees in it. And there's a campground there and a flight park. Thank everybody that's been uh, hanging with me on my channel as well. Thanks for the support, guys. Talking to the local helicopter guys there. Alpine helicopters, probably. Lots of backcountry lodges out around here and stuff. Ski lodges, heli ski ops on both ends of the valley. Okay guys, well that was a fun little flight, uh, last flight of 2018, so let's kickstart 2019 stat. <laughs> Anyways, thanks everyone for watching and uh, for continuing to support my channel. Uh, it's small but it's growing. Um, anyways, let's uh, turn this sucker loose and wind her on down to the valley. It's cold, I'm frozen, and it was a great day, great flight. It was a lot of fun. Uh, my flying partners, of course, weren't around this day, so I was on my own, but it was still pretty stellar. So, hey, anyone out there, if you like my channel, you like my content, please subscribe. Uh, I do work full-time, and I'm trying my best to keep a constant flow of hopefully fairly entertaining videos rolling out for you guys. So, yeah, if you do like it, subscribe, hit the like button, and for sure comment. Uh, while my channel is small, is a great time if you want to chat about the Flying and Golden or ask me any questions about the area, feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, everybody take care, and I guess I would say have a great New Year's Eve, but even though the flight was before New Year's, it's not New Year's Eve anymore, so... Back to work on Wednesday, tomorrow. And yeah, we'll bring this video to a close, guys. Enjoy this landing, too. I had a bunch of spectators down there. And I wound her in on the downwind. And I let her buck around the corner and set her down on the ice. So take care, everyone. Peace out. Guys, let's get in here and land. Alright guys, so that's a wrap on 2019, so everybody have a happy new year and be safe, and uh, yeah, maybe I might not get this video out before New Year's, but regardless everybody take care. Peace. <coughs>